Today I'm going to give you my one month review of this bad boy. Okay, so I've had this bad boy, the Galaxy S24 Ultra for a month. I did the review of having it for a week, three weeks ago. So one week plus three equals four, and that's a month. But I've had this thing and I have no complaints. This is my UAG case I got for it. This is the best case I've ever bought for any phone. It's like so durable and tough. I don't know if this is metal, but it feels like metal. And this is Kevlar, so I could probably stop bullets with it. Basically to sum up my experience with the phone, it's what I like about Windows but in a phone. Like with Apple to me it seems like it just works but then it's just like you kind of have to do it the way they want you to do it for the most part. And when it comes to like Windows and Android there might be a little bit of jank but you can always kind of tweak around it and do things how you want to do. Like I can use all my Google apps that I like to use and it works better than when I was having to use the Apple apps. I prefer using Google Calendar, I prefer using Gmail, and I prefer using Google Maps, especially since some of the places I've saved in Google Maps still aren't in Apple Maps, strangely enough. And so I can do that same thing, but with the apps I like, and I just totally prefer that. I haven't had too many hiccups with this. I think I told you about my watch. I got a SUP case for it to make it look more rugged. This is the Galaxy Watch 4. Got it renewed on Amazon for 80 bucks and it looked brand new. And the SUP case gives it kind of that cool rugged look. And I like this way better than the Apple Watch. So with that, like you can't even use this with an iPhone. And then I've got my Galaxy Buds, which looks like, you know, you're about to propose to someone. And these are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. They sound, I'm coming from the Apple AirPods 2 Pro and those were great. Those were top tier earbuds and these are almost as good i got these for 60 percent off so instead of 220 they were just a hair above 100 and for that price they're great and they match and all that like i didn't have to i can still use the airpods but i wanted to kind of have my purse match my shoes then other than that i've used android auto i got the little motorola adapter the only hiccup i had with that was i had to let that bluetooth device i made it trusted and then it worked fine because I had to unlock it every time, which I didn't have to do with Apple. But once I made it a trusted device, everything worked well. And just everything's just, it's just how I want it. There's a couple little things like it syncs to OneDrive, which is fine because I have OneDrive for Windows. The only problem is the pictures on my computer, a lot of them didn't save the date. So they're out of order. They're in order here, but they're not in order in OneDrive. So I'm kind of concerned about that. I might just transfer them over to Google Drive and just so I could have like a record of them being in order. I prefer having the option of both personally, maybe in the future, I don't know. They have. Been been more friendly with using other products like from Google and Microsoft so hopefully that goes over. I know on the earbuds that you can't use Google Assistant on them. You have to use Bixby which they fixed that on the watch thankfully. So there's still some little things where they're wanting to use their stuff but worst case scenario I'll just go with like some bows or whatever. Those would probably be pretty nice to try out. But other than that after a month I think this is great. The past two times it was like six months is when I kind of was going like, oh, what did I do? I'm an Apple guy. Worst case scenario, I go with the Pixel. I think I had the Pixel for way over six months and I didn't feel any need to switch. And the only reason why was the whole texting, which Apple's gonna support RCS, so that's gonna be fixed anyway. So I don't see myself going back to Apple anyway, but I'm just for safety. I'm holding on to my stuff. Cause like the laptop and the tablet are my last two Apple things that I kind of still use. And I have my brothers, he passed passed away a couple years ago and I still have his laptop which had a Ryzen 9 in it. So I'm thinking of just using that. And if I can get away with kind of using that without the hair dryer fans bothering me, it will definitely make it where I feel easier getting rid of that. And then the iPad, I have an iPad Pro. I don't know how much I really need a tablet really. And this still is kind of small for like writing big things. So it is nice to have. And I'd just be getting rid of it because I'm trying to get rid of Apple because I hate them. 
I have to hold on it for a little while because I keep trying to transfer my codes over to my Microsoft account because I have the authenticator, the Windows authenticator and it holds the passcodes too. And I've done it twice and both times like I'll come onto a website and I won't have the passcode and I'll look on my iPad and I'm like, oh, there it is. It didn't transfer. I just have to kind of get that worked out and then I can kind of worry about that. But I don't really use an, a tablet very often. So I, it'd have to be like a cheaper option. Maybe the Pixel tablet, it's kind of like it turns into like a home hub too. So you could like put it on there and use it as your hub. That might be okay. I don't know. I'd have to see how it works with a digital pen. I don't know if I want to stick with Samsung for everything because I don't want to get trapped in an ecosystem. Like with the Google stuff, you can kind of use that with all Android stuff. But then like the watch here, some of the features you can't use unless you have a Galaxy phone. And I guess that's fine. But then it's just like other stuff. I just don't want to be like, oh, I got this Samsung tablet. And it's like, oh, I don't want to use this other tablet because I'll lose some features because it's not Samsung. But I don't know. Coming up this this week is Leap Day. This is what I really wanted to get to. After this grand review of yay, Samsung, still loving it. Six months, I'll see you. That's the week before my birthday. And so it'll be very interesting to see where my head is during then. So Leap Day is coming up and what I'm planning to do, and this is gonna be next week video, which will be after Leap Day. I was watching these things about people doing time capsules on Leap Day. And then in four years, in the next Leap Year on Leap Day, they open them up. I was looking for things to do on Leap Day. I was like, well, that, that's kind of cool. It's coming up. I should do something. And so what my plan is I'm going to do a time capsule. And what that time capsule is, is on leap day, I'm going to write and record a song. I'm not even going to try to write anything right now. I don't want to touch a guitar until leap day. And I'm going to write and record it. And then I'm going to release it on leap day in four years. So that will be the time capsule. So you'll see next Monday me writing and recording the song. And in four years, I'll probably give it a quick mix and master in four years with some fresh ears. And and then release it, put it up, and then that way on leap day in four years, the time capsule will be open. I might even call it time capsule. Originally, I was going to call it like leap day or leap year, but that's not a really good name. Anyway, my camera is wigging out. I'm hoping this footage is saved because every time before it wigged out, I lost my footage completely and I really don't want to have to do this again. So I hope you enjoy this and have a good one. 